Fundamentally, I don't think Africa needs more aid. I think it needs less aid. It needs governments to be made accountable to the domestic citizenry and not accountable to donors. Africans stand in the hot African sun to elect their leaders. And it's those leaders who are charged with the responsibility of delivering social services and being accountable to their people. Um, there clearly was a vacuum that has allowed the celebrity culture to seep in, but it would seem to me that uh, no society uh, would appreciate uh, their whole policy and the future of their children to be dependent on, um, on uh, celebrities that actually don't live in these contexts. Aid has become an industry. There are just way too many vested interests. And by and large, the criticisms that uh, my book has been receiving are coming from those quarters, people who actually have a vested interest to see the uh, continual cycle of, of Africa in despair so that they can justify their, their existence. What sort of people are you talking about? I'm talking about academics, I'm talking about uh, people from the NGO community, I'm talking about people in, who are policymakers and politicians who know that it doesn't work, the evidence has shown it doesn't work. In 1970, 10% of Africans lived in poverty. It's now um, more like 70% in many countries, um, as high as 80, 85% of Africans are living in poverty at a time when the aid model has become so dominant. Um, we, in one year of uh, a problem in the capitalist system, and we are so critical of capitalism. 60 years of an aid-dependent model, and uh, we, we, we hear um, only calls for more aid. Um, that, to me, is, is intellectual dishonesty, particularly from the quarters of people who I know for a fact have been big proponents of capitalism in other regions of the world, but when it comes to Africa, they're big supporters of aid. I why? Think that, what, what, is there a blind spot there? Or why well, particularly think, Africa? To be quite honest, I think it's um, built in pity. I think the whole aid model emanates from a pity for Africa, um, a sense that Africa cannot do it, cannot achieve growth. And um, sadly, because there are incentives, which as you know, the world has shown, people, governments, uh, companies in respond to incentives, there are incentives for African governments to take aid. Um, we've basically ended up in a situation where it doesn't, it doesn't work and we're happy to just keep it going.